White stuff. What is this white stuff here? It's snowing. It's snowing. What's up everybody? This is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. Today is Monday and I'm trying I'm trying something new today. I'm actually recording from my GoPro just to see what it's like, if I can get better quality, better feedback. Comment down below whether you can tell a difference, whether you can't, whether it doesn't matter what I record with. Uh, whatever it is, comment down below what your thoughts is on the quality of the uh, video. Let's get right down to it. Today on this beautiful Monday, usually I love Mondays. I didn't trade, I didn't trade today. I saw my setup on Apple, didn't trade it. Ah, I don't know why, I don't know what I'm gonna do to get over whatever I'm going through here, but um, I did have one of my subscribers send me uh, like an ebook, an ebook on uh, on just uh, fear of losing or, or whatnot in the stock market. So thank you so much, I greatly appreciate it. You know who you are. I greatly appreciate that. Real Talk Mondays. I, I kind of have to make this quick because I have my son's Thanksgiving uh, lunch today at school. So I'm really excited. This is the first time we've ever done this. So I'm really excited about that. So Real Talk Mondays, guys. I need to get over whatever I'm going through. Um, I need to get over the fear of losing. Um, I have $562 in my trading account. If I start losing any significant amounts, um, I can still, I, I still have money on the side, so it's not going to be like I'm going to be really hurting, but I guess it's just because I'm trading uh, with, with just $500, it makes it hard for me. Um, I'm constantly thinking about, got to find the best trades, the best opportunities, the best setups. And that's not always going to happen. Um, sometimes it doesn't line up correctly, but... But I will tell you that on Netflix today, I, I had a good setup. What I, I saw a good setup. Sure, it wasn't exactly the way that I, I like it, but it looked good. It was a fake out. The only reason why I didn't trade Netflix is because I didn't have enough money to trade those options. So that saved me in itself. That saved me um, from making that bad trade. But also uh, on Apple, let me actually let me show you. Um, the Apple trade that I missed. Possible that uh, Apple might be setting up here. I like Apple. We got Apple in the uh, big screen. Here's the one minute on Apple, five minute on Apple. No, not gonna get in. 325 by 330. Let's see how this trade would go. Would have got in at 330. It's on the bid. 335, 340. There it goes. 350 on the ask, or excuse me, on the bid. 355 on the ask 355 360 there it is guys another trade missed but at least i um, i saw it i called it out there you have it folks it was apple that i missed i saw it i saw it clear as day the only thing that i didn't like was the macd the macd uh just wasn't strong enough had that been there, I think I would have traded. Those were the uh, 195 puts, the 195 puts, I believe. I have to get over the fear of losing because I'm gonna start losing at some point and that's gonna be okay. It's just whether I'm gonna have a little bit of cushion uh, or not. A lot of you guys have actually been uh, switching over to Tastyworks. I have a referral link, guys. I have a referral link down below. I'll post it in the uh, in the um, comment section or in the description down below. It'll help me out tremendously. Um, but there's that referral link if you're looking to switch over brokers to Tastyworks. And uh, I would greatly appreciate that, just FYI. Um, but comment down below what your thoughts are, what you need help with on this Real Talk uh, Mondays. And it's, I'm just being extremely real here. I had a really sort of quick, interesting conversation. I won't mention his name, um, but we're two totally different traders. I like to see a significant move in one direction and get in on that move after it started making that move. He's the uh, opposite of that. He's trying to get in before the actual move. There's arguments to be said on both um, ends, on both sides on his side is you might be getting in too early before the move actually happens. It could never happen or it can go the opposite direction. The argument can be said about my uh, training style, my trading strategy is that 
it has already started moving, it could stop moving or go the opposite direction. So there's a double-edged sword on both sides. And this is the game that we're playing, guys. You got to understand the, the game that we're playing, first of all, what you're up against, and find a strategy that better suits you, your needs, your personality, and what type of trader do you want to be. More on that later. I'm also putting together a video of a, a recipe for beginners um, or a recipe for success in trading the stock market. So uh, that'll be later this week. I'll, I'll release it later this week. But I, I have some pretty good points on what will make you successful. Advice that I should be taking myself to begin with anyway. So thank you everybody for watching. Greatly appreciate your support. Like and share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. And comment down below. I love to hear from my subscribers, your thoughts, your ideas, um, and your advice for me. I would greatly, um, I'm open to, to advice, guys. Um, I, I have a lot to learn. I've said that over and over and over again. I have a lot to learn. Let's find another setup to trade tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day, guys. I think I got it down. I know from watching my videos, you can figure out that uh, trading pattern yourself. So, but not to worry at a thousand subscribers, I am going to go ahead and release everything. My signals, my trading pattern, my trading strategy, everything in a nutshell, that's a thousand subscribers. So thank you so much everybody for watching. Greatly appreciate the support.